If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, I've been trying to warn beekeepers not to use this Formic Pro Formic Acid. I used I used one of these 2018 and I was skeptical and I checked and it did kill the Veromite. So I went ahead and used it 2019. I bought three more of them and none of them are expired yet. The reason I bought these versus the box, the box had 30 and I needed 75. So rather than buying a bunch of extra, I went ahead and I bought these from Better Bee. They're not expired yet. But the point I'm getting at is September 2019, I used this thinking that it would kill the varroa mites. I did the double 10, 20 days, and went through the month of October realizing my bees were dying. And finally I realized that, yeah, this formic pro formic acid did not work. So I switched to acylic acid. But I lost most of my winter bees at the end of the fall last year. And I've had to work really hard to keep... Uh, the colonies alive through winter and come early spring and through spring my colonies are getting really small because that you know they gradually lose the older bees and I've I used the silic acid in November twice and I used it again in January and I used it again just a couple weeks ago and four of my smallest colonies absconded I think it was because of the residue left in the on the bottom board I would stick the silic acid vaporizer in between here and it would leave residue in there. And I think that's the reason why they absconded. So I've got a few colonies yet that need help. And you may be wondering, well, why haven't I been adding brood to them? I have. I've been taken from my large colonies. See, March 15th, I took from 75, gave to 42, and then 42 for some reason. Queen 42 later died, starved in cage. So it went to 84. You know, on March 22nd, March, you know, I did these. And I've been doing it all along when it was warm enough to do it. But I've been careful not to take too much because it was cold. And then I also want to keep colonies large enough to make honey. I don't have any more surplus honey. So this, this is a colony here that really could use some more brood. And what I do, I make sure there are enough bees in there and I never add more new bees than there are old bees. I really want to get this queen going. She's doing a good job, but she could use another frame of brood to really get them up to... Uh, I want to split them in June. Because I breed my own queens. So the goal is to split every colony and get a new queen off that colony. Well, so we got two frames of brood here. Yeah, the queen was in there. I just checked. Oh, there she is. There's the queen. She is a September 2018 queen. So this queen here I will use in my breeding program. I will not expect her to make it through a third winter. So she's gonna. I'm going to split her to make more mating nukes to make new queens. But my 2019 queens are gonna make honey this year. And in 2021, I will use them to make new queens. I never kill a laying queen. If you kill a laying queen, you're a fool. And you gotta be careful when you're videoing. You, I did this in 2018 and I ended up killing one of my best queens. So what I'm getting at is this colony here could use a frame brood. And I just did some splits two days ago. And I knew those mating nukes had lots of extra brood. And it's safer to take a frame of brood from a mating nuke. Because they don't have a queen. They've got, I've got so many colonies now. I stay busy doing this. And it's fun. I really enjoy this. These right here have my 2018 queens. I set them aside. So that I can keep most of the workers in the old location. And I know for a fact that these mating nukes here have three frames of brood. Today I'm going to check and see which frames have the, the queen cells on. If I find a frame of brood that doesn't have a queen cell or maybe one queen cell or something, I'll destroy that queen cell and I will take these bees and I'm going to put them in my small colonies that need a little bit of help. So these bees are less likely to kill a queen because they, don't have a, they haven't had a queen since... Uh, Today's the 15th, and I did this on the 13th. So two days without a queen. And then when I do this, I make sure 
I give them some pollen patty and they've been gobbling it up just to make sure that they well that turned white oh. make sure they have enough pollen for the brood because when you divide up a colony sometimes one frame of pollen will go in one and you may not have another for not for the next mating nuke so anyway that's what I'm doing today I'm going to take a frame of brood out each one of these and give it to uh to my small colonies and I'm only only doing a few mating nukes at a time in about four weeks Michigan Bee Works will be uh, in my area and I'll use his drones to breed my queens with but I can breed a few right now I have enough diversity if all these Russian bees were a waste of money I did manage to get some good hybrids off of his queens and I had some Italians at the same time I found Italians to be much better than Russian bees and I've been breeding all my bees with Michigan Bee Works. He's the largest, as far as I know, the largest beekeeper in Michigan. He has some good quality drones. And I get some outstanding queens from his, his matings, his drones. So I do a few. And then Memorial Weekend, basically a week from now, is when I can really do a lot. Because he's going to be here four weeks. And if I do it the third week or so, I'm going to have... My virgin queen's out mating when his bees are in the area. But right now I'm going to be mating my own drones because I know there's no other bees in my area unless we have some new beekeepers. Okay, thank you.